Item number SCP-4630. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-4630 and SCP-4631 are to be kept in a standard hydroponic containment cell. The cell is to be partitioned to allow for private interviews with each of all the subjects, but have the ability to open to allow free communication when not conducting interviews. SCP-4632 is to be kept in a separate soundproof hydroponics containment cell. SCP-4632 is to have psychological evaluations on a bi-weekly basis designed to investigate the extent of the object's knowledge. The attending psychologist is not allowed to bring pencil, paper, or any form of information storing devices with them to the evaluations. All meetings are to be recorded directly to encrypted drives set to level 5 clearance only. After meeting with SCP-4632, the attending psychologist is to be treated with Class C amnestics to remove all knowledge of the time spent with SCP-4632. Attending psychologists are to be rotated after every meeting. Description SCP-4630 is a head of the Kruka Sativa, more commonly known as Iceberg Lettuce, which has gained sapience and a method of spoken communication through currently unknown or though suspected genetic. Note, it is speculated that the method of spoken communication relies on a thaumaturgical component embedded in the genetic sequence, although this has not been cooperated at this time. Means analysis of SCP-4630's genome had been revealed substantial differences between its genetic code and that of a typical individual of Nakuka Sativa, collectively designated SCP-4630A. Interviews with SCP-4630 have revealed that it believes itself to be a human researcher working at a foundation under the name Dr. John Cabbage although no such person was ever employed by the Foundation. Experiments with implanting different parts of the SCP-4630-A ANA, anomalous diosexable nucleic acid, and additional subjects in the plant kingdom have resulted in additional sapient vegetables, designated SCP-4631 and SCP-4632, Due to the creation of SCP-4632, in spite of not being able to isolate the sapiens granting string of genetic code, further experiments using this method have been suspended. SCP-4630, SCP-4632, and SCP-4632 have very little in common apart from the following. All of the objects have sapiens. All of the objects believe that they are human. All of the objects believe that they have worked at a foundation despite no records existing to corroborate this. All of the objects have names related to vegetable in a direct or at least commonly misunderstood note, such as cabbage, basica, or lyracea, being from a completely different genus from iceberg lettuce, manner. Further investigations into a connection between SCP-4630 and GOIs which have access to genetic modification technology is ongoing. Discovery Log SCP-4630 was discovered in the lowermost drawer of the refrigerator inside the Site-9 break room. When the object exclaimed he was being assaulted by a junior researcher as they were attempting to construct a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Audio Log 4630A Date 24th of February 2017 Note Initial interview with SCP-4630 Dr. Chong presiding Begin Log Good morning, SCP-4630 Good morning, Dr. Uh, Chung, is it? I am Dr. Cabbage, and you may refer to me as such. Very well, Dr. Cabbage. Would you mind answering a few questions regarding your current state? 
Oh, is it that bad? I thought it might be coming down with a cold. I was hoping that taking the day off would clear it up, but I suppose not. I was referring to your current state of... Being a head of lettuce, Dr. Cabbage. What? A head of lettuce? Yes. What are you talking about, sir? I have never had a moment in my life ceased being a human being. Dr. Cabbage, you describe yourself as a doctor, but would you mind telling me what you are a doctor of? On my diploma it says Biological Sciences, but I was hired at the foundation for my work in uh, thaumaturgical biology, like uh, DNA augmentation. Through thaumaturgic means? Don't be silly boy, that'd be impossible. The DNA structure is much too fine for the thaumaturgic methods we have today. But you did work with DNA, through non-thaumaturgic means. I don't know where this talk about DNA came from. I'm just a biologist, not a geneticist. I studied the phenotypical traits of thaumaturgic creatures, berries, unicorns, and the like. Classic stuff. Alright, well, thank you for your time, Dr. Cabbage. And log. By order of the site directorship regarding SCP-4631 experiment, the experiment to extract a quantity of SCP-4630A and implant it into another host, designated SCP-4631 is approved. This experiment will be carried out at the earliest possible convenience at the discretion of the 4630 Lead Researcher. By the order of 4630 Lead Researcher regarding SCP-4631 experiment, the experiment to extract and implant an amount of SCP-4630A into an individual of the species Musa Agriminator, note, commonly known as the Cavendish variety of banana, is to be done on the 3rd of March, 2016, at 0800 by Researcher Boxen, Researcher Carlos, and Junior Researcher Vala. Audio Log 4630B Date 4th of March, 2017 Note Initial interview with SCP-4631 Dr. Boxen presiding Begin Log Good afternoon, SCP-4631 what, so I'm an SCP now? I beg your pardon? Last time I checked, the number you slapped me with was D0579. <clears throat> what was your name prior to joining the SCP Foundation? Sig, Sigmund Peel. So, D0579. Oh, that's just like you doctor types who ask my name just to go on and not freaking use it. Mr. Peel, will you describe where you were yesterday morning? I don't know, probably in my freaking cell. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. Do you think you remember every time you stared at a grey concrete wall? I see. Thank you, Mr. Peel. And log. Request to 4630 Lead Researcher from Dr. Sabrina Moxon. Regarding SCP-4632 experiment, due to the results of Experiment 4631, I hereby request another opportunity to experiment with SCP-4630A in order to see if the entity can be genetically engineered to be more useful in pinpointing the genetic or thaumaturgical element responsible for sapiens and spontaneous Auditory Generation Response to request by Dr. Sabrina Moxon from 4630 Lead Researcher regarding SCP-4632 experiment. I'll give the go-ahead, but be careful, Bree. We don't really know the forces we're messing with here.
by order of 4630 lead researcher regarding SCP-4632 experiment. The experiment to extract and implant an amount of SCP-4630A into a modified individual of the species Z. Meyer, note, commonly known as Korn, is to be begun on 15th of April 2016 at 0800 by researcher Moxon, researcher Carlos, and junior researcher Vala. Audio log 4630C Date 16th of April 2016 Note Initial interview with SCP-4632 Dr. Carlos Presiding Begin log Good morning SCP-4632 Oh God, am I dead? I figured if it was the God, he'd do this kind of cruel joke to me SCP-4632 Please elaborate. What is particularly cruel? The last thing I remember, I was lying in bed, which means I'm probably dead. I bet those bastards at the beep did it too. They've been planning their little beep for years now, and I guess they finally built up the nerve to strike. I'm sorry, but if you don't mind me asking, why would the beep talk at you specifically? Because I'm all five beep Joseph Cobb, you simpleton! I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just in shock is all. Oh crap. End log.